Okay. Hey guys, hey. we're back. And now Becky's going to explain how GSP works when you are a UK seller. Okay. Okay, so if you're dropshipping on eBay UK, the only difference is that you will have a GSP order when somebody orders from outside of the UK as opposed to outside of the US. So I personally have had GSP orders for US customers. So they can order something from me and what happens is instead of a shipping center in Kentucky is it in the US, yeah. ours is in Staffordshire in the UK. So every time you get a GSP order, you'll have the same Staffordshire address. The only thing you'll change is the buyer's name and the reference number, same as the US, and you just have your supplier send it to the Staffordshire um, GSP center, which is owned by Pitney Bowes, same as the US, um, and they'll ship it to the country that is outside of the UK for you. So no extra charge when you are paying for shipping from your supplier, how much you would pay to send it to a domestic customer, that's how much you're going to pay to send it to the overseas customer and the shipping from that point overseas as well as customs and taxes is all handled by between eBay and the buyer, you don't see So that part's that. identical yeah. to the US program, okay. interesting. So, so in the US a lot of suppliers, well not a lot of them, but some suppliers don't ship to freight forwarders. Yeah. Is that true in the UK as well? I've come across one that doesn't, and that was Tesco. And it doesn't say we don't ship to that address. All that happens is when you try to put the address into the Tesco website, it just says address not found. So I'm assuming they've marked it as a freight forwarder, and they just have like blocked it from the website. Every other supplier, like Amazon is fine, all the other suppliers that I've mentioned all ship to the address, because it does just look like a normal UK address, so I don't think they have Yeah, that. As, as far as the source is concerned, like it really is identical. Yeah. But the only thing, the reason that a lot of some of these companies choose to disallow freight forwarding is because it it is something that is associated with fraud, because once an item gets to a freight forwarding center and is sent somewhere else, it pretty much becomes anonymous. Right. So that's what a lot of scammers will do if they get a hold of someone else's money. They'll ship the item to the freight forwarder, and then it may not even go overseas. It may actually just go back to another address in that country. Right, so okay. That's the fear that a lot of sources have, and that's why they choose to disallow yeah, it. Yeah, makes sense. Sweet. Awesome. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later in the Bye. course.